Question number one. Um, a 100 kilogram parcel sits on the floor of a lift, which accelerates upwards at a rate of three. So here's the floor of the lift. There is my particle. That's 100 G. That's the normal reactive force accelerating upwards at an acceleration of three. Find the reaction of the lift floor and the particle, so find N. So the resultant force in the direction of motion will be all direction, all forces in the direction of motion, which is N, minus anything opposite, which is 100 G. And mass times acceleration will equal that. So I've got um, 100 times 3 equals N minus 100 G. N will equal 300 plus 100 G. G is 9.8. So that's 300 plus 980. So N equals 1 to 8 zero newtons. And part B, a second lift has particle M sitting on the floor. The lift accelerates downwards. So here is my particle. There is my M times G. I don't know M. It's accelerating downwards at a rate of 4 metres per second squared. And I've got a normal reactive force which equals, so the apparent weight is the normal reactive force, 29 kilogram weight equals 29 G newtons. So that equals 29 G. So find M. So the resultant force in the direction of motion will be down. So it's going to be MG minus anything in the opposite direction, which is 29 G. So mass times acceleration, so 4 M, equals mg minus 29g. I'll move the 29g over. I have mg minus 4m, which is m times g minus 4 times 29g. So the mass equals 29g on g minus 4. I'll accept that as an answer. Or 29g divided by 9.8 minus 4. 29G minus 5.8, which is 290G divided by 58, and 58 goes in 295 times. So I'll also accept 5G, I'll also accept 49 Newtons. Either of those answers.